similarities to the 9-11 plot. An Indian national was arrested in Rhode Island this week for overstaying his student visa. He drew suspicion for trying to get a commercial truck driving license and a hazmat permit. Fox News has learned from law enforcement sources that he paid cash for the lessons and he told instructors he only needed to know how to drive forward. He wasn't interested in backing up or parking. After the arrest, a Rhode Island state trooper was asked if the man was planning a terrorist attack. I wouldn't say yes or no. I'd just tell you that every indicator was there from the suspicious activity, learning how to drive a truck so far from your home in a rural part of Rhode Island that he has no ties to, obtain a license in three states. Any one of these things alone, to me, is um, not a big deal, but four or five of them together. I'm joined now by John DiPietro with WRKO Radio in Boston. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Catherine. Yes, what can you tell us about the suspect, Mohammed Yosef Mulawala? Catherine, Rhode Island State Police, mm -hmm. you know, in speaking with the people from the tractor trailer school, they suddenly became alarmed. Here's somebody from India who's in the country on a student visa, and he enrolls in a tractor trailer school. He was commuting to the school in Smithfield, Rhode Island, which is at least three hours from New York. It doesn't make sense. He doesn't have family in the area, and he also had three driver's licenses. So he was clearly going out of his way to travel from New York State to Rhode Island. Is this because the laws are, are looser in Rhode Island to get these licenses? That's unclear right now, but when you have someone who is in the country illegally, who does not have any family in the area, who says that they are in a hurry to obtain a commercial license, and, and the license to drive and load and move hazardous waste, the tractor trailer people did the right thing, a red flag went up, and that's why they contacted the authorities. Uh, the, the school said his uh, behavior was suspicious. We know he paid cash. We also learned this afternoon that he was just interested in learning how to drive forward, not to back up uh, or to park. What explanation did he give the school for this? That's the thing, Catherine. He was very evasive. Uh, the driver, the people that run the school, they were suspicious. This is reminiscent of uh, Musawi, who wasn't interested in how to land or take off with a, a jumbo jet airplane in Minnesota. He just wanted to know how to steer. This is somebody that comes in. They, they want a license in a hurry. They're not from the area. He is apparently uh, from uh, India and he is a Muslim. And again, not that he's a terrorist, but it certainly doesn't make sense why someone would be in such a hurry here at a student visa, and I think they did the right thing. This is what Homeland Security and the Joint Task Force is all about, is working together a number of different agencies to try to get some straight answers out of this individual. Well, they uh, count on uh, contact and help from people on the ground. John, thanks a lot.